whether a freshman or a senior or anyone in between, the personalities of our Highlanders is shown through our respect for our friends and the way we work together to make Driscoll a success. It takes a while to learn how to get to your classes on time, but there are always smiles to be seen during our passing periods. seems to be one big puzzle. Each of us with our unique ways are the pieces that are needed to make it complete. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a senior, and uh, now Driscoll students give their favorite moments. My name is Rebecca Birchall. I'm a junior, and my favorite moments at Driscoll are the pep rallies. My name is Julie Patel, and I'm a junior, and my favorite moments are the homecomings, and I'm looking forward to this year's. And my favorite moment at Driscoll was last year's prom. My favorite moment is, what, moment is when my friends give me a birthday cake. Each teacher has something new to teach us. We learn science, math, art, and business. Most of all, we learn about life. And now Driscoll students give their version of comic relief. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? Because he had a hole in one. <laughs> Why did the silly baker let mosquitoes bite him? Because he wanted to make a cake from scratch. <laughs> Anna, what do you call a very religious potato? A meditator. Hey, Michelle, I got a joke for you. What is it? Why can't a bank keep a secret? Because there's too many tellers. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> the pep rallies at DC are the one time when everyone, teachers included, believe the louder you are, the better. I still remember when you used to be nine years old. I was the fool for you. Just look at the students now give their thoughts on the fall sports. And our, I think our favorite sport for today was the soccer game. We had a lot of fun there. Awesome. They are really good. Hi, my name's Nate Gieske, and we're here watching the JV team of football beat some other team 34 zip and fall sports bring everybody at Driscoll together and it's just a heck of a lot of fun. We're on the volleyball team and it's a lot of fun because we always win. The 
Driscoll football team went 7-3 this year, which led them to a playoff berth. Outstanding players were captains Dan Galligan, Jason Espito, Kelly Quinn, and Fred Frias. We had a new coach this year, Coach Doran, along with our experienced brother David. This year we had our first full girls team in a long time, in a good year. Pat Adesso went all the way down state. And he goes for the shot, and he sinks it for the birdie. And the whole school's here watching as Jason Sudaz goes down state for a great year in golf. This year, captains Joe Bush and Jonathan Phillips led the varsity team to the regionals when they won their first game versus Fenton. Brian Smith was the biggest scorer for the team this year. The tennis team this year served and volleyed their way to another great season. Beckford, Enders, and Newman in Zerlong led their way to a great season this year. Once again, Driscoll Siblings Day brought many prospective Highlanders to see what high school is all about. Homecoming week, our spirit was at its highest. From donating our time to the community for the helpathon to the faculty football game, students definitely enjoyed the time out from schoolwork. homecoming. The way my date asked me to homecoming is he was on the phone and asked, would you like to go to homecoming? And I said, sure. I drove to Minnesota and I got down on my knees and I asked him if he would come to Driscoll's homecoming. <laughs> and of course he said yes because it's me. They didn't, didn't want to go, go but, but we, we made, made him.
saxophones, clarinets, and of course Mr. Reichelt make for a wonderful sounding disco band. Society spotlights those students who represent character, leadership, scholarship, and service. Those who are admitted are some of Driscoll's most well-rounded upperclassmen. Driscoll's newest chemistry teacher creates labs that may separate chemicals, but not the group efforts of those in her classes. It's hard to get back, just a smile. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I always remember you like a child girl. Catholic's future supermodels. The cool at school this year. The online services exploded, bringing the internet world into millions of homes and offices. The most hyped new product in years, Windows 95, had PC users buzzing and upgrading. Television's top ten was dominated by the half-hour situation comedy. Friends, Sybil, Seinfeld, and Frazier kept us laughing. Jane Seymour and Jimmy Smith were marquee names in prime time, but ER continued to steamroll as the number one drama. We went to the movie theaters in record numbers. The big hits included Apollo 13. The hottest new stars, Brad Pitt, and the girl next door, Sandra Bullock. Sharon Stone and John Travolta showed star staying power. There was a new James Bond. Jim Carrey earned a record salary for another Ace Ventura film. Whitney Houston starred in Waiting to Excel. But the surprise box office success went to Babe, featuring a talking pig, and the first fully computer-generated feature film, Toy Story, an example of computer-dominated graphics in print and video. Blue, green, gray, brown, and even red sometimes. Eyes express more than words. behind the scenes of Driscoll plays seem to be just as necessary and vital as the actors on stage.
voices of the DC chorus rang out at the Christmas concert. The chorus also sang at Yorktown, the Marion Jo Center, and the Art Institute. school students, give us your top 10 reasons why you ate cafeteria food. The vending machine was out of food. <laughs> For the first time, the only thing green was the salad. There haven't been any reported cases of food poisoning this week. <laughs> There's nothing they could do wrong with pretzels. <laughs> they find Change the French fry oil. We left our lunch on the DC van. <laughs> Nothing seemed to be moving, so we ate it. No change from the vending machine. You know, anything's better than olive loaf. <laughs> We're in love with the lunch lady. Did you know that Miss Lee's been a teacher at Jisco Catholic since 1977? Wow. You weren't even born yet. Hi. If I had a girlfriend and I wanted to trade her in for a car, I, it would, the car would be either a Dodge Ram or a Dodge Viper. If I had a girlfriend, I'd probably change her in for a Mustang. If I could trade my girlfriend in for a car, it would probably be a Panzer IV. If I could trade in my boyfriend in for a car, it would be a Dodge Viper so that I can take Joe for a ride instead of my boyfriend. <laughs> ready for this. The boys had a very successful season this year. Most of the team is returning next year to the new wooden floor. The girls basketball team worked great this year. They'll continue to work hard next year to replace all the graduating seniors. team skated to another great season. They brought back several trophies to Driscoll. The Junior Ring Ceremony was another exciting event which left us with a lasting reminder of our class here at D.C. Honored once again to have an all school mass with Bishop Kaffer.
Our turnabout dance was a great success. Based on the turnout, the DC girls aren't shy about asking guys. <laughs> Any TV character living next door to me? I'd have Snuffleupagus. Kelly, if you could live next door to any TV character, who would it be? Jason Priestley from 90210. If, if we, we could have, have any TV character living next to us, it would be Joey Lawrence. If we had any cartoon character living next to us, it'd be Betty Rubble. Definitely. <laughs> who would it be? It'd be Bart Simpson. Hi, my name is Craig John Carino. I'd like to introduce you to some of my freshman class. My name is Susan Dubinsky and I'm the class, from the class of 1999 at Driscoll Catholic High School. My name is Dan Nono, class of 99. John Mullins, Driscoll Catholic High School, class of 99. Pasquale Macy, Driscoll Catholic High School, class of 99. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Carol. And, and we're we, class of 1999. At Driscoll Catholic. Amy Adorno. Lene oh, Trophio. Monique Kyler. Class of 99. I'm Brian Burling. I'm Dustin Jones. And we're the class of 99, and we like Driscoll a lot. This is the class of 1999 at Driscoll Catholic High School. Some of the artists that caught the eyes and ears of students this year. are lucky to have cool cars. Some of us don't. Some of us take the v DC vans, and the freshmen usually rely on mommy and daddy. Getting to and from school is a happen part of the day. Natalie, did you study for that science test today? What science test? We have a science test today. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Please, 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 please go to the dance with me. In your dreams, playboy. Hey, Courtney, I saw a school bus outside. What do you say we go hijack it and go to lunch? Okay, they'll never catch us. Is this year dragging on or what? Yeah, but can you believe it gets over in only two weeks? Excuse the brain. What's going on down there? Have a good break somewhere. Have a break somewhere. Have a break somewhere. If you're looking around at the faces of Driscoll Catholic, you're likely to see many expressions, but you can always count on a smile. Driscoll students, straight from the cafeteria, we're saying, what's up? This is Nate, I'm a sophomore. Yo, I'm Mark, and I'm a sophomore, too. Hi, I'm Katie, I'm a sophomore. I'm Anthony. 
I'm Joni and I'm also a sophomore. We're the class of 98. Jessica Shack and I'm a sophomore. I'm Michelle Panarese and I'm a sophomore. And we graduate 98. Hi, I'm Diana. And I'm Chris. And we're sophomores here at Drisco. That's the 98. <laughs> Hi, I'm Veronica. Vinny. Gina. We're sophomores, we're graduating in 98. Hi, my name is Anna. Hi, my name is Julie. My name is Erica. Hi, I'm Nicole Price. I'm the class of 98. I'm a sophomore. I'm Lisa Sorry, guys, class of 98. And sophomores rule. Yeah, sophomores rule! The Jello eating contest during homecoming week is both exhausting and delicious. Bon appetit. Five ninety six sports setting a record of endurance. Cal Ripken saying goodbye to a hero. Mickey Mantle celebrating Atlanta's first World Series championship. The Braves. Northwestern emerged as the Cinderella story in college football, but Nebraska won its second straight national title. Dan Marino became the NFL's all-time leading passer, but Aikman Smith and the Cowboys were the Super Bowl champs. Tennessee won the women's college championship. Kentucky topped Syracuse for the men's title. Steffi Graft kept winning, and Monica Sellis made a comeback, as did Mike Tyson. And Atlanta prepared to play host to the world in the 96 Olympics. Believe it or not, this whole school has tunnels underneath it. The Driscoll baseball team had another excellent season with a record of 24-7. The highlight of the season was a 7-1 victory over Aurora Central Catholic that captured the state regional championship. The Lady Highlanders finished second in conference. They had a successful season with a 20-8 record. They look forward to winning it all next year. The tennis team was back in the swing of things. With most of the team returning next year, their season will definitely be successful. The track team placed third in the conference this year. Both the girls and boys teams made outstanding showings. Everyone played a part in their achievements. Many students were presented with awards at the Honors Assembly. Steve Noto stole the show. He seemed to need help loading all of the awards in his car. On behalf of WGN Television, I am proud to present this week's Extra Effort Award to Aaron Dooley. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, this is Terry Fay 
six and I'm a junior and I think the junior class is the best class in the entire school. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm the class of 97. Hi, I'm Sarah Jane Carino and I'm part of the class of 97. Hi, my name's Mike and uh, my name's Shane and, and we're, we're both, both juniors Saturday, here at Driscoll. 97. Hi, I'm John. I'm Matt. And we're juniors. Hi, uh, I'm Jim Kearns. I'm Sterling Shore. And uh, we like Driscoll Catholic. Hi, I'm Chris Wazlowski. Hey, I'm Adam Ackerman. And on uh, the half of the varsity basketball team, we're real good. And uh, Chris, you got something right here. Hi, I'm Leslie. I'm Sarah. And I'm Liz. I'm Mike Corcoran. And we're part of the class of 97. <laughs> He's not Mike. Students at Driscoll play a big part in class and make learning fun. The chorus concert showed off a lot of student talent. Solos were performed by several students, and it was described as the best yet. Class of 1996. This is Mr. Bretner wishing you the best in your future endeavors. Represent us well. This is Mrs. Galligan wishing the class of 96 a very happy graduation, a wonderful summer, good success in the rest of your lives, and don't forget to come back and visit. I'd just like to wish all the uh, seniors graduating in 96 good luck in the future. Uh, hopefully we're all successful in college and whatever activities we get ourselves into and we have a healthy and prosperous life ahead of us. Good luck and congratulations. Senior volleyball players, I'd like to thank you for your cooperation and commitment to the volleyball program for the past four years. Good luck in your futures. Hi my friends. I hope all of you have a successful life in whatever you're doing in college and work. I hope you all remember me and your will. Thank you. I'm Shayna. I'm Nina. I'm Deanna. And we're going to leave our state qualifying Palm Banner in the gym. Hi, I'm Vino George, captain of the uh, varsity basketball team. And what I'm going to leave is my fan club, the V Pound, to Junior Phenom, Sterling Guy Shore. Senior Matt Campobasso, and I'm going to will my incredible good looks and great personality to the entire junior class, since we all know there's enough to go around. My name's Brandolyn. I'm a senior at Driscoll. I like to leave all the wonderful rumors to my loved undergraduates at Triscoll. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm a senior at Triscoll Catholic High School. I like to leave behind all my stale pretzels and water balloons left in Mr. Fretzen's old chemistry class. Hi, my name is Matt Grubich. I'm Vino George. And um, me and Vino would like to leave to next year's varsity basketball team our incredible basketball skills because God knows they'll need it next year. We want to leave all our dancing abilities to those junior girls that just don't know how to bust a move. I will my clothes to all the junior guys that don't know how to dress. And Steve, I'm leaving it up for you to take care of them. Juniors, I'd like to leave you my silly grin and my boyish good looks. <laughs> All right, this is John, and I leave my sense of humor. 151 people, many of them students, are now known dead in the blaze that raced through a Manila discotheque. Tensions between Taiwan and China continued to simmer. Today, China launched a new round of large-scale military exercises. Dole now has 1,000 delegates. That's more than he needs to secure the Republican nomination. About 280,000 federal workers remain off the job today, almost two weeks after the budget impasse triggered a partial government to shut down. And the outstanding teacher of 1995 is Richard Ruffalo. The Federal Trade Commission reportedly is preparing to overhaul the way that tobacco companies advertise nicotine and tar ratings. After years of delays, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame finally opened its doors. Hail, hail, rock and roll!
Beatles become gear again as the Fab Four come to TV and John Lennon's voice is added to a new song. Believe it or not, the school collects enough money and gum fines to pay for the tuition of three students. <laughs> Prom 96, oh what a night. This year, prom was a success and definitely will be remembered. The 95-96 school year has been an excellent year, once again, at Driscoll Catholic. We've excelled academically, athletically, and spiritually as well. The academic highlights this year were the school's academic bowl team, LaSalle and Cup, winning the, uh, the championship at Lewis University and then finishing second in the sectional finals in the state competition. Our math team has made it to the state finals for the second consecutive year, as well as 13 of our, our students be, being named as Illinois State Scholars. Athletically, we've had outstanding seasons in football, basketball, baseball, and softball, and the highlight of the year was our hockey team capturing the Cougar Cup for the first time in the school's history. Spiritually, there have been many service-oriented activities that our students have participated in, youth groups like um, the Lasallian Youth Group and Campus Ministry. Believe it or not, Driscoll Catholic gets over 165 phone calls every day. It didn't matter that graduation was held in a new church, St. Walter, pomp and circumstance sounds the same anywhere. Valedictorian Steve Noto and Sam Fugazzato were quiet but inspirational.
The smiles, hugs, and kisses were all in celebration. The tears were too. It's the end of high school, not the friendships that were built there. We want to say thanks goodbye. and goodbye, goodbye. sure, to class of 96, class of 96 from the Drone, the Drone Boys. Boys. Now, the multimedia yearbook, the book, the video, and now CD ROM in selected schools. It's the yearbook set for today.